Join us on Wildlife Factor, where we unveil the captivating wonders of nature. In today's episode, we delve into the fascinating world of bees, exploring their remarkable traits and contributions. Prepare to be amazed as we reveal the astonishing fact that a solitary honeybee can pollinate an astonishing 5,000 flowers in just one day. And that's not all. These incredible creatures have been evolving for over 100 million years, coexisting with dinosaurs, and possess a highly advanced communication system that rivals certain human languages. Get ready to be awestruck by the secrets of these buzzing marvels. But don't forget that these little creatures can get very angry and can cause you a lot of damage if you try to temper with them and try to disturb them. So, don't dare to cause them any sort of inconvenience. Now let's get started and get ready to be stunned by curiosity as we dive deeper into the beehive world. The world of bees. The small yet hard-working creatures are an essential component of the natural world and their presence has a significant impact on preserving the equilibrium of ecosystems. With a global population exceeding 20,000 identified species, bees showcase an incredible range of variations when it comes to their dimensions, hues, and habits. From the renowned honeybee to the charming bumblebee, these flying marvels have intrigued human fascination for countless generations. Within the vast world of bees, two of the most well-known types are honeybees, Apis mellifera, and bumblebees, Bombus spp. Honeybees, famous for their ability to produce honey, live in organized colonies comprising thousands of individuals. They have distinct roles within the hive, with worker bees collecting nectar, foraging for pollen, and maintaining the hive, while the queen bee lays eggs and male drones are responsible for mating. In contrast, bumblebees are characterized by their larger, fuzzier bodies and a more relaxed social structure. They too are excellent pollinators, crucial for various plant species and, by extension, food production. Bees play a crucial role in pollination and agriculture, making them highly important. They are exceptionally effective and efficient pollinators in nature, transferring pollen as they search for nectar and collect pollen for their colonies. This vital function directly aids in the reproduction of numerous plant species, including essential crops such as fruits, vegetables, and nuts. Remarkably, approximately one-third of the world's food crops rely on pollinators like bees. Without their diligent efforts, our food systems and ecosystems would be severely disrupted. Bees' significance in pollination and agriculture cannot be underestimated. The anatomy of bees. They are one of the most remarkable creatures, and their anatomy is a masterpiece of God's engineering. To understand these little miracles, let's take a closer look at their intricate design. A bee's body can be divided into three main parts, the head, thorax, and abdomen. The head houses the bee's sensory organs, including two large compound eyes that can detect polarized light and ultraviolet patterns, helping them navigate and find flowers. They also have three simple eyes, called ocelli, which aid in orientation. Bees also have an amazing sense of smell, thanks to their antennae, which can detect different scents and pheromones. If we move to the thorax, this part of the bee's body is responsible for its flight and movement. The thorax has three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings, which allows bees to perform complex aerial maneuvers and collect nectar from various flowers. The wings beat at an amazing rate, about 200 to 400 times per second, allowing the bees to hover, toss and hover again as they go about their foraging duties. Finally, the abdomen is where you will find vital organs such as the digestive system and reproductive organs. The abdomen also stores nectar and pollen collected from flowers and turns them into honey and bee bread for the hive. And speaking of honey, that brings us to a particularly interesting feature of the bee's anatomy. Its stinger and venom sac. The stinger and venom sac. The bee sting is a double-edged sword. It is both a threatening weapon for others and a tool of self-sacrifice for the bee itself. 
When a bee stings, it's not just a defense mechanism. It is a matter of life and death. The stinger is only found in worker bees and queen bees is an organ that is used to lay eggs. What makes the stinger so interesting is its hooked structure. Here is the whole process behind it. When a bee stings, the barbs dig into the victim's skin, fixing the stinger in place. As the bee tries to fly away, the stinger and attached venom sac are torn away from its body, eventually causing the bee's death. Meanwhile, the venom sac continues to pump venom into the target, delivering a potent mixture of proteins and peptides. This venom can cause localized pain, swelling and allergic reactions in humans. But hey wait, here is the most interesting part. Bee venom, like honeybees, isn't just a weapon. It is also a treasure trove of potential healing effects. Scientists are investigating the therapeutic properties of bee venom, which may be useful in pain management, arthritis treatment, and even in cancer research. So while the stinger and venom sac may be considered dangerous, they also showcase the dual nature of the venom, highlighting how these tiny creatures are a marvel themselves and a source of inspiration for scientific research. The next time you see a bee, take a moment to appreciate the wonders of its anatomy, knowing that it is not just a small insect, but a miracle of natural evolution. Why we should not temper with bees at all? Bees are those little creatures that play a very important role in our environment and should not be taken lightly. Causing them any sort of inconvenience can lead to dire consequences. Here are the reasons why you should not temper with bees and how dangerous they can be. 1. Multiple types of bees and species. There are different types and species of bees and all have their own behavior and temperament. Honeybees may look docile and appear that they are only concerned about their nectar when they can get very aggressive and if you dare to disturb them. So next time you are about to start a play with the bees, think twice. 2. They are very protective for their hive. Bees are born with the instinct to protect their hives and queen at any cost. When they feel like any of these two is in danger, they consider it an alarming situation and can get very reactive. Their reaction includes stinging the suspect and here's the most entertaining part. They will not leave you after stinging you once because they are capable of stinging you multiple times. So stay cautious, dude. 3. Allergic reactions. Not for all, but for some people their stings can aggravate some severe allergic reactions known as anaphylaxis. These reactions can be very dangerous and require instant medical care. Even the people who have been stung by a bee prior in life can also develop these reactions later in life. So if you thought you were safe, think again. 4. Painful. Even if you don't get allergy, the bee sting is very painful. The people who have been stung by a bee can relate to this. Now take a short break and tell us if you are stung by a bee. Tell your stories in the comments below. Getting back to the topic. You know the venom of the bee sting can, can cause severe pain, swelling and even itching. And just do not get me started on how I would feel if I got stung in sensitive areas. 5. Panic. If multiple bees sting you at a time, it can lead to panic and aggravate irrational behavior like swatting at bees or running without looking, which can increase the risk of more bee stings. 6. Disturbing bee colonies. If you have a beehive on your tree at home, do not try to get rid of it without proper equipment, because these bees can get very aggressive and can attack you at once. 7. Impact on the bee population. Other than having some immediate dangers to humans, Tampering with the bees can be harmful for the bee population. And did you know that their population is already under stress because of the habitat loss, pesticides and climate change? This can destroy the local pollination efforts, which will be harmful to everyone. In conclusion, although bees are fascinating and necessary creatures in our ecosystem, it is essential to treat them with love and care. Handling bees without the necessary knowledge, training or protective equipment can lead to painful stings, allergic reactions and even life-threatening situations. 
rather than attempting to remove or interfere with bee colonies. It is advisable to contact local beekeepers or professionals who can safely relocate them. A harmonious coexistence with bees ultimately benefits both humans and these vital pollinators. This was all from the video. I hope you all liked it and hope it was helpful for you all. Stay connected with the wildlife factor because we will be back with some wildlife fights again.